Hello and welcome to this short tutorial on appraising case reports and series. This video will provide hints and tips on appraising this type of literature. Let's look first of all at what makes a case report or series. These are typically small scale studies focusing on only one patient or just a few patients. They appear low down on the hierarchy of evidence because of this. With such small numbers, it is hard to make generalizations from them. We can see a version of the hierarchy of evidence just on the left hand side. However, they can offer interesting insights around a unique or unusual diagnosis or adverse event of a condition and may highlight an area which requires further study. They're often used as an educational tool as well. Therefore, you're unlikely to use the information from a case report on its own, but may use it in conjunction with other studies when researching a particular topic. When we are appraising a case report or series, we first want to see a clear description of the patient or patients, in particular their baseline characteristics and medical history. This can help in determining if there is anything else about the patient which could have caused the outcome of interest. There should also be a clear aim and objectives, and often you will see an accompanying literature review. You want to understand the purpose of why they are writing this report. Is it truly a unique study? When you're raising a case series, you also want to make sure you see a clear inclusion and exclusion criteria, and that they use a valid and reliable measurement for the condition. They should also state the time period and setting for the case series, and remember to watch out for bias. A case series could have selection and or information bias. This brings us to the end of this short tutorial on case reports and case series. For further support with critical appraisal, please contact your site library or visit our e-learning course available on the Trust's Moodle page 24-7. You may also want to make use of checklists such as the ones by the Joanna Briggs Institute.